This fall, we met Dr. Roger Strand as he cleaned wood duck boxes. Dr. Strand is a respected authority on wood ducks and a volunteer at Prairie Woods Environmental Learning Center near Spicer, Minnesota. The hen has a great chance of being successful here because we put it on a pole and the predators, mainly raccoons, mink, and the squirrels are competitors for the nest space. And so we keep them out with this metal cone predator guard. And I've been using this for 38 years. As you can tell, I'm an old guy. So I've been in the hobby for over 50 years. And this is the one that works. And in 38 years, the mammalian predation rate with the cone in place is zero. No kidding. Yeah, so that's, that's the thing. And you see, I've cleared out brush around the box too. Uh, and that's so that squirrels can't jump up here and hop in because it's a perfect nesting spot. You can't see it on the, the TV, but there's a four inch by three inch hole in the front of this box here. We can look at another one later. But I just reached in there and it's kind of like a surprise every time you do it. Sometimes you find things you didn't know you were going to find. In this case, it's, it's pretty straightforward. This is what we call a membrane, and it's left over from a hatched out eggs, egg. And Stephen just uh, told me that chickens do the same thing, but we know from little uh, cameras inside wood duck boxes now that after the duckling gets out of the egg, you know, he pip, the duckling pips a hole in it and then cuts a, a, a cap, we call it, after it's cut, and it comes out through a trap door, and here's one of those trap doors and there's an unhatched wood duck egg in here and this would be discolored usually they're light tan but the cap is on the fat part of the egg where the little air pocket is and then as the duckling uh, hatches it starts hinging like this the duckling actually cuts that one inch diameter uh, cap and then it starts hinging and the duckling wet and looking helpless crawls out and then the hen picks up that half shell right away almost and picks it up and starts running around in her bill and starts eating the calcium, the egg chips that are on there because it's her calcium after all and she's short of calcium. So that's why we end up with these membranes we call them in there and then we know that's a hatched out duckling. It's not any predator that came in and ate the egg you know, because none of them are going to peel out that membrane. So, right. and then so we put them, put them uh, on here, and we go through Did counting them. Did I see another them. egg in there too? Yeah, I'm going to get it to that. Huh. Uh, this is a, another membrane. This is a little bit more intact membrane. You can kind of see how it's like a flattened ping pong ball. Yeah. Yeah, and you can put your finger inside huh, there. But the hen, the, the hen can't eat that part. Doesn't want to, and thankfully, and then I can count them. Yeah, <laughs> if great. she ate it, then sure. I, I couldn't count them. But they're called membranes. And there's one other egg in here, and I put this in for teaching. It came from a, a different nest, and I'll teach the kids the difference between a wood duck egg and the egg from another duck that lays in hollow trees and our nest boxes and that's a hooded merganser and so it's rounder than a wood duck egg. The wood duck egg looks like a small chicken egg and this one is rounder sometimes even more than this. It's whiter and if I smash this you'd see that the shell is twice as thick as a wood duck egg oh. and so those are the two kind of eggs that you find in a box here. And you've seen these membranes that we're picking out of there, and we looked at one of the caps. And What's a typical count? Okay, uh, this is not a typical count in this box because there were, I counted them already, there were 25 membranes in here. And 23 of these caps were recognizable. And what happens there is that more than one hen lays in the box. And sometimes three or four do. And this is very common with cavity nesting ducks, ducks that nest in hollow trees. In our area, Candy Oye County, Minnesota, it's uh, uh, mainly the wood duck and the, the 